Mitchell Baker, and I'm the co-founder and chairman of the board of the Mozilla Foundation. We're best known for Firefox. And what are you doing at the Dublin Web Summit? Oh, I came to the summit here to see the kind of creativity that exists in this part of the world. You know, I'm familiar with California, of course, but I moved to Spain recently, and so part of that is to come to understand what's happening, not just with Firefox and Mozilla, but with the creativity, startup culture, technology world here. And so the summit is clearly the place to be. Uh, there's a huge energy and a lot of startups and I think increasing sophistication. So I wanted to come personally be a part of that and also have Mozilla and Firefox be part of it. And is there anything you, you hope to achieve by the time the conference is over? Two things. One, of course, is have a better sense of what's going on to take back into Mozilla with me. And the second is to try and describe a vision of openness and creativity and freedom on the internet that is the reason we actually exist at Mozilla. And so when your head's down in building your startup and building technologies, sometimes it's easy not to think about the bigger picture of what's the society and the way of life that we're actually building. And so I hope to have a chance to at least put that into the discussion again. And uh, so far in terms of from moving to Spain and, and then being here, what are your initial impressions of the, the European and the Irish tech scene? Well, it's a little mixed. Uh, but, so it, what I see are both ends of the spectrum. As I, I see increasing sophistication, but I also see a lot of people still working on their own without a lot of support, and in some parts of Europe anyway, without the sort of organizational infrastructure and the acceptance of the kinds of flexibility that startup technology needs. And, and just to, to talk about Mozilla specifically, obviously you said yourself best known for Firefox and Thunderbird is another product as well. But where does the web browser fit now in what's becoming an increasingly app-based world? Well, I'm, I think that the app-based world hopefully is one of the stages we go through in our networked life. And that the next stage will be a combination of the openness and decentralization of the web with the convenience of apps. So that's the world that we're designing at Mozilla, trying to build and attract people to. But the, the role of the browser remains critical. There's the browser's the application, which is still how we reach many places, and especially if you don't have an app for something. But the technology that underlies the browser is critical for rendering. It it's, it's exists in an app world, you don't see it. So right now, in a sense, we sort of have a, um, a limited version where the browser technology is used to deliver apps, but we don't use it to give the kinds of decentralization and openness that we're used to. So our goal is to take all that power of the browser technology, combine it with the fun and convenience of apps, and have an internet life that uses both. And uh, finally, your other people in this space are the likes of Microsoft, Google, Apple, all of those are also controllers of their respective platforms in the operating system zone. So does that put Mozilla at a bit of a disadvantage? Well, Mozilla has always been the underdog. And so that's a position we're used to. And certainly we're small and it's a difficult uh, industry to uh, compete with the giants. But our sort of secret weapon is actually the web. So we're not trying to build a third platform that's a Mozilla platform. Apple, Google, Microsoft, Mozilla fourth platform, I guess. Uh, we're not trying to do that. We don't think we could succeed at that, and we don't think that's the world we want. What we're trying to do is build the web in the mobile environment. For the last 15 to 20 years, we've been living on the web. It's a distributed platform. It allows Google and Microsoft and Apple to have their place, but allows the rest of us to have our place as well, and allows the rest of us to act without their permission. And so that platform has hundreds of thousands of web developers and billions of people using it. And so that's the path that we think has a chance of success. And we think once we demonstrate what that path offers, that its power will become clear.